They want them to come in the back in the backyard. They want you. What's up? Asai, come meet the legend. Come meet the legend. Nice to meet you. There you go. Hello friends, welcome to Dell Soccer. My name is Delali Frank and this is News Daily where I serve you with all the major trending news in the last few hours. Today we're going to talk about the Black Stars of Ghana. They'll be leaving Ghana. Today I'm going to give you the update when they are expected to get into Bamako, where they are going to sleep, they are training itinerary another conversation even when and how you can get to watch the black stars game i'm going to tell you all the details here on this particular video we are also going to talk about the are you brothers they are still in the news the family has finally and officially spoken on the stance of andrea you will talk about that in this particular video i also have some few updates on black stars players so far as transfer news is concerned so today we're going to have a lot of fun on this platform as usual, if it's your first time, please hit on the subscription button. Hit also on the like button during the video. I want today, I want to get at least 10 likes on this particular video. I want to get 10 likes on this video and I'll be so glad. So when you watch the video, please leave a like and a comment on this video. As usual, my name is Lali Frank. Let's go straight into today's news. <music> Right, so let's start from the Black Stars and its camp and other conversation around it. So the team is expected to do their last training in Ghana today and leave Ghana and go to Bamako. So the Black Stars of Ghana will be leaving Ghana today. They are expected to arrive around 7 p.m. They are going to leave with a private jet because the FA also have made us know that all my communication and my sources tell me that when they go and they play the game on sit, they will return on the exact day back to Ghana because they have to go straight to Kumasi and go and also prepare there. So the Black Stars of Ghana will be holding their last training in Accra today and then they will leave Ghana also today to get to Bamako because it's an important fixture. When they get there, they are going to train once in Bamako, which is a day before the game, before the game will be played on seat. Those are very important information that you need to know. As of now, the camp news, everybody is fit. The only concern was Alexander Jiku because he picked up an injury. In their last game, he had an arm injury, but the club has cleared him to go ahead and play. And it's obvious that Jiku will play. I did a video and talked about uh, the, my possible starting 11. You can check it out on this particular platform. So we won't talk about the starting 11 here. But the Black Stars players are really ready. They went to also visit Assess Bank, where uh, the current captain, Thomas Party, assured the Assess Bank and all Ghanaians that. We will, they will go and make Ghanaians proud because they know that Ghanaians want to be at the World Cup at matter of agency. So they will do everything possible to make sure that that happens. So the Black Stars of Ghana will be leaving Ghana today. We will arrive in Benin today. They will train tomorrow and play the game on sets. Talking about the game, I have some quick updates that I want to share with you in relation to the game itself and how you can watch it. So the game will, will be live on gtv sports plus the station of the nation where the legends live just go and pay your tv license so gtv sports plus will be showing the game the game is going to be happening exactly 7 p.m so the kickoff time is exactly 7 p.m ghana time and it's an important fixture ghana against mali i should say the game will be live on gtv sports plus gctv and then obono tv the gctv is for the tree commentary and then obono tv it's obviously for the ga commentary but gtv sports plus will show the game so i'm here to tell you that gtv will be showing it let's move and talk about the iu brothers andrea you has been in the news ever since otuado released a squad first uh the the was report that the family will be going for a meeting and will update the public and officially their pro who is fifi taki who speaks for the iu brothers have released a statement he said Please be advised that recent reports of the Ayu brothers, Andre and Jordan, resigning from the national team are entirely false. Because you know there was some conversation that Andre Ayu will retire from the national team and then they will tell Jordan Ayu to also retire. He said there's nothing like that. Andre has had a remarkable season, scoring six goals in all competitions and is currently enjoying a well-deserved holidays. 
Jordan is currently in the camp of the national team and he's proud and honored to be part of the team for the upcoming World Cup qualifiers against Mali and the Central African Republic. They remain dedicated to their careers and committed to the national team. We urge fans and supporters to disregard the misinformation and continue to support their youth brothers and the Black Stars by Fifi Taki on behalf of Andre and Jordan. Claire, Andre and Jordan are not looking at retiring from the national team and Jordan is not looking at withdrawing from the squad. Nothing like that. So every information around that is false. And it's, and it's good. You know, I like it when there's clear communication and it, it, it kills a lot of speculations. And that's one of the things that I really like in when it comes to communication about athlete PR and all that. Always make sure that there's clear communication. You don't leave room for speculation then then things. It really destroy future plans and even destroy good relationship and all that. So I'm happy that the you brothers and their you family has come out to speak on the matter and made it obvious and very clear that they don't have any plans of recalling and uh, Jordan are you from the squad or they don't have any plans of seeing Jordan are you will not represent Ghana at the World Cup qualifiers. It's important that they've said that. Another thing that we want to wrap up with with Jordan are you. So you know Jordan are you struggled with game time this season because of the new coach that uh, Crystal Palace have. Uh, employed Jordan struggle with game time and there's multiple reports that the club is looking at uh, facing him out or uh, looking at you no know, facing him out is not the right word the, the, the club is looking at selling him away or looking for a, a possible buyer and I believe he should take it he has had a very good time at the English Premier League at Crystal Palace I believe other English Premier League clubs may come for him Leicester City, especially some of the newly promoted clubs, they will come for him. He will get playing time there. But the style of Leicester City, uh, the style of Crystal Palace now, and how they are playing, will be very difficult for Andrea uh, Jordan Ayew to get playing time in the squad. He's a very good player. Possibly he can even go back to France and go and play. He has played in the English Premier League for continuous a long time, and I believe he should go because his contract will be ending 2025 June. If he doesn't move. And his contract ends, they may not renew it because of how the coach is not using him. And I'm sure his game time will reduce. And if his game time continues to reduce, it will affect his chances of being in the Black Star squad. So I think he needs to move. Kudus, Liverpool are still interested in Mohamed Kudus. And now maybe West Ham United may sell Mohamed Kudus in as much as his release clause can be triggered next season. Now Paqueta is in some deep problem because of betting and also other problems he's in some real issues and there's a higher possibility that he may be banned from playing football and his move to uh, manchester city may not come and if his move doesn't go through that means that leicester's uh, that means that west ham united will not get that money that they're expecting from his transfer and that will mean they will need extra money to run their club and that may force them to sell mohammed Kudus instead of the fact that they hadn't planned of selling him but we're going to follow it keenly and give you updates on that so let me know what you think about today today we talked about the black stars or the update about the black stars the training the camp when they are going to leave ghana we'll talk about their youth family and also wrap up with some transfer news on black stars players as usual my name is delali frank until we meet again bye bye for now